Hello and welcome my lovely psychology students. It's so good to have you back for another quick session. And as you can see by the name on the screen, 60 second exam skills. And we're going to focus on the word how. Now this is a word that does appear quite often in exam questions, especially in the research method section. We do see this a lot. So before I start the 60 seconds, and I know you're going to see it's a little bit of a cheat, but um, sorry about that. We're going to just understand what the word how means. And here I need to thank Oxford Dictionary for giving me this lovely but basic definition of the word how. According to Oxford Dictionary, in what way or manner or by what means. Now you might be thinking, oh, Mrs. Smith. What does that actually mean? Good question. It actually means something that's actually quite simple. This means that you need to turn whatever you're talking into something real. Hmm, something real. In other words, what would you actually do? If you were asked to say, how would you investigate the capacity of the short term memory? Hmm, that's where you've got, you know, when you've done Jacobs or Miller's study and you think about their procedures, their procedure is how they did it. And that's how. What would you actually do? So it's really important that we understand that question, uh, not that question, that word within the question. How, what would you actually do? OK, I know I've cheated a little bit. And I haven't started the 60 seconds, but I want to just focus on two very basic questions that use the word how. So guess what? I'm starting the clock and here it goes. How is it used in exam question? A very simple way that you can see it explain how the medium score is calculated one mark. Now we've got two command words explain how. What would you actually do? That's what the question's asking you. Explain how means you've got to, in words, not demonstrate it by showing example, explain how you would actually calculate it. And that means what you would actually do. Simple. A medium score is calculated by putting all the scores in order from lowest to highest or vice versa and finding the middle score in the set. That's how it's done. That's how it's calculated. Perhaps another one that we can see here, another question, identify one appropriate extraneous variable for the study and explain how it can be controlled. Remember, identify, it's not the concept something real again, identify what it could be. So for example, if there were all your participants, oh, we'll just steal a few more seconds. If all the participants were um, having to read something, make sure they all read the same stimulus material, right? And that means how would you actually control it? That's, you've identified, it's what they're reading. How would you actually control it? Make sure they all had the same stimulus to read. The same magazine, the same newspaper article. Again, it's explaining how, what would you actually do? It is quite scary, the amount of students that don't pick up on that word in exam questions. So last little hint I'm going to leave you with. Remember, take the time to read and understand the demands of the whole question. Read it through, pick up on all the command words because some command, well, not some, all command words will tell you the assessment objective. So sometimes students don't pick up on that word. How, what would you actually do? A lot of times it is application. You're explaining what you would do. Well, my lovelies, thank you for being here again. And I will speak to you soon. Remember, stay safe and take care.